Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. Well, behind me on this table are a whole bunch of skeletons that came out of our domestic beetle colony behind that, that door right back there. Uh, the specimens were then cleansed in a bath of hydrogen peroxide and ammonia and then laid out on these tables to dry. I just accessioned these specimens, meaning I gave them numbers in our collection, but what I need to do now is clear them off the table, put them in boxes so that we can start all over again. But before I did that, I wanted to show you some of these specimens because some of them are pretty interesting. Well, here's the table with all of these bones on it. This isn't really part of the whole thing, but I gotta show you this at some point. This is uh, this pelican uh, that Lydia Giesegi and I put together. It's pretty cool. But here's some of these skeletons. Here's a, uh, um, a turkey vulture, uh, which has a really interesting pathology. Its wing is just horribly broken and refused together. Very interesting pathology. There's a pretty spectacular veiled chameleon specimen right in there. Here's a Cooper's hawk. We get lots of Cooper's hawks in, as well as things like red shoulders hawk. All these specimens come from wildlife rehabbers, or in the case of this little um, uh, bearded dragon, like the uh, uh, veiled chameleon, actually it's so with someone's pet. Um, here is a kind of parrot, um, a goffin cockatoo that we got. Here is a really cute little specimen. This is actually a, uh, a downy woodpecker, um, which has a really interesting, just really adorable little skull, I just have to say. So here is uh, a bittern skeleton. American bitterns are kind of, of heron. Here's a tiny little thing. This is actually the um, uh, disarticulated skull of a duckling, of a mallard. And the dermestors basically took it all apart and we said, that's just fine. That's very useful to us. Here's a grebe. Not entirely sure which grebe species this is. It just came to us as a grebe. I think it's probably a pied-billed grebe. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. Here's a laughing gull. Wildlife rehabbers um, on the coast get lots of laughing gulls. And uh, this is a yellow-billed cuckoo, which actually, unfortunately, crashed into the, um, the window of this very building, which is unfortunate. Um, here is a northern flicker. Um, we have the yellow shafted variety around here. This is a pretty spectacular specimen. It's actually part of a, of a uh, pelican right here that obviously broke its wing and healed back together. Likewise, this black vulture had the same thing happen. It broke its wing and then it healed up. And these are both really interesting as well as that turkey vulture. So maybe I'll show that to you uh, on their own one of these days. Here's another Cooper's hawk. We get lots of Cooper's hawks. Um, here's an iguana, a green iguana. This was the pet um, named Jimi Hendrix um, of one of our uh, um, emeritus faculty, Scott Moody, who's a fantastic biologist who's donated lots of, of his pets to us after they passed away. Um, here's a, another heron, a green heron. Here's a tiny little rail, a Sora of the genus Porzana. Um, just a beautiful little skeleton right here. These are some of my favorite little birds right here. This is a, a sharp shin hawk, um, an accipiter. Small, but boy, they feisty little birds. Here's somebody else's pet right here. This is a, a bearded dragon, just really a very nice specimen. Gorgeous skull. And actually, the rest of the specimen is very nice too. And so again, that was somebody's pet. Here's another heron, another great blue heron. Again, we get lots of these, these in. These are actually a couple of domestic geese specimens, uh, goose specimens. And they're actually a little different from each other. I may try to show those to you someday. This is a pretty cool little specimen right here. These are really interesting. This is the Chuckwill's Widow, which is a Capra Mogid, uh, a nightjar. Very interesting, very weird skulls. Um, they're just, unlike almost anything else, really. And finally, what we have here is a good old Ohio bobcat. Uh, this is a, a specimen, probably a roadkill specimen, acquired by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. And I'm working with Ohio University biologist, uh, Vera Rupescu, who's actually censusing these animals. And they come to here 
come to our lab for um, uh, skeletonization and study. And this is just a beautiful, gigantic specimen. That's a really large um, Ohio bobcat. So that's what we've got over here. We've got more specimens waiting to be accessioned, more specimens waiting to go into the dermestis. So with that, that's today's random active anatomy. Thanks for watching.